guys, Lindsay here, and today I will be showing you how to make your very own set of handstand canes. Handstand canes are a really great way to advance your handstand skill set, but it can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So make sure that before you make the canes, you have been approved to do handstands on the canes by your handstands coach. Let's get started. Okay, so you're going to need two three quarter inch galvanized pipes. Mine are 18 inches long for the length of the canes. You're going to need two two by fours that are cut to six inches. These are going to be the hand blocks to your canes. Four flanges, these are three quarter inches. A tape measure, a screwdriver, a drill, a sander or sandpaper, a pipe wrench, safety glasses, two packs of number 10 screws. One is one and a half inches and one is three quarter inches. And for the base, you are going to need three quarter plywood that is two feet by two feet. First, you're gonna to wanna to sand your blocks and baseboard. Okay, so the next step is to attach the flanges to your board. So what you need to do is measure your shoulder width and place your flanges on your board according to that. And then you're going to want to pre-drill every hole before actually screwing in your flanges to your board. So by the way, if you wanted to paint your entire baseboard, now would be the time to do it. Otherwise, if you're not decorating your board at all, you can move to the next step. Or if you are just going to use a stencil on your board, wait till the end to use that. So the next step is going to be to pre-drill holes in your hand blocks for your flanges. And then you are going to drill your flanges in. I'm using my one and a half inch screws on my hand blocks and I used my three quarter inch screws on the baseboard. So your next step is going to be to screw in your pipes. Screw them in as far as you can and then you're going to need to use a pipe wrench to screw them in all the way. and do the same thing with your hand blocks. Okay, so I'm adding a last finishing touch by spray painting my base blue. Okay, okay so here is the list of things you will need one more time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about how I made these handstand canes or any tutorial requests for the future, please feel free to comment them down below and I'll be sure to reply to them the best I can. Thank you so much again for watching and see you guys later.